Welcome. So this is the video that we're going to talk about auto scaling. Um, so if you have a website, popular website for some reason, uh, if you like you're expecting more traffic, there's uh, predictability. For example, uh, predictably, it would be Black Friday, Christmas peaks, when you know that, hey, yes, we are going to get more traffic. And then there is uh, unpredicted traffic something went viral um, a link or a video on your website and all of a sudden your site is being accessed uh, all over the world what will happen uh, famous thing was back uh, way back when uh, like iPhone 2 3 uh, AT&T site would go down uh, I'm talking about maybe 12 years ago so you get the idea when you have a lot of unexpected traffic and you have no idea maybe you're out uh, you know your system admins or if you are like small business owner you you're just out uh, you know doing your business and you have no idea your site is being impacted auto scaling is automation this aws detects so auto scaling uh, the aws uh, automatically detects that you will you basically you have to uh, set a threshold that uh, if um, up to a certain point if it goes up uh, the processing uh, of that EC2 instance the processing power and then launch more instances the beauty of that is that uh, once the traffic got, dies down it automatically terminate those instances so you, you get the idea uh, you have a traf uh, you have a website a blog a post went viral now all of a sudden there is a lot more traffic for maybe two days or you know a one day so it will automatically launch more uh, ec2 instances and as soon as the uh, traffic dies down then it will take those ec2 instances off so we'll see how to set that up for that let's go into ec2 i believe it should be in ec2 mm load balancer launch it right there auto scaling so we have two um, things over here just like this uh, it's part of one thing but uh, you have to first configure it and then you can go to auto scaling groups so in this video we're going to see launch configuration let's go with that we're gonna click on create launch configuration we're gonna name it WordPress WordPress launch configuration you're going to choose the ami that is going to be my wordpress template if you don't know where it came from let me show you uh, trial and error right there and <clears throat> we, we created the image here in this video and then i showed you how to launch it so if you if you're wondering go and take that uh, check that out that video we're gonna choose the instant type we can I believe choose it as a micro where is t2 micro um, <clears throat> must be down there so we have t2 large and that is our t2 micro we can choose it and you can see one CPU one gig electric uh, oh, sorry elastic block storage only so request spot instances uh, spot instances is uh, you don't want to check this because spot instances is um, for a computing need that can be shut down interrupted meaning uh, basically it's, it comes under pricing <coughs> your you bid on a price and uh, when the uh, when the ec2 price hit that low your virtual machine will go up it will do the computing and as soon as the price goes up your ec2 instance will be terminated so you you you, you will want that uh, not not for definitely not for a blog or website <clears throat> it will be for some other computing need probably where you want to process some data at the cheapest minimum <clears throat> you want to check the profile uh, we created the profiles way back you wanna so it, but it has nothing to do with this one it, it, it will depend on the scenario so we're gonna keep everything uh, 
uh, not so technical but uh, if this knee uh, this uh, ec2 needs to have a profile you will select uh, create one and then select here and monitoring you do you want monitoring or not i like i said we're not going to be so technical in it here i'm going to just uh, keep it to uh, bare minimum or everything default so for the security group uh, security group let's uh, launch it in our launch wizard tool the reason being that uh, we want uh, we have uh, configured everything in this one and for everything else we will have to go and reconfigure rules with allow all IP access your instances security rule allow access from known IP addresses only so it's just a warning but we know it's since it's a web server so we want the word traffic that is for the World Wide Web. So for the existing key pair, yes, we're gonna go with our this one, and that's it. Create launch configuration, and we can see that successfully created launch configuration. I mistyped this. All right, so I have this one set up. I'm gonna wrap this video here, and the next we will uh, see auto scaling. I believe you can create auto scaling group here copy to launch template and all that but uh, next we're gonna go and create an auto scale group in the next video so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one